Hello, good morning. Time for business. My name is Daryl Kwao. In case you're wondering whether the nation will still have its national carrier, well, the Director General of the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, Simon Aluti, says barring any hitches, the home-based carrier will be ready by the end of the year. After selecting Ethiopian Airlines as a strategic partner, the Minister for Aviation gave first quarter of this year as a period the carrier would be ready, but that deadline was missed. Here's Mr. Alote with more on the status of the home-based carrier. What looks promising is the establishment of the home-based carrier and um, the expectation, all things going very well, should be that by the end of the year, the airline should have been established. The others going through various levels of certification or should I say air carrier license, uh, uh, licensing processing. So those will most likely commence operations in 2020. The home based carrier with a stage of certification where are we at? Um, they've done the business plan. They will now go through the air carrier licensing after which they'll commence the uh, certification. But do we have aircraft that we're already planning to use or we are yet to get there? Um, yes, the strategic partners have committed aircraft for the operation, so I would say the aircraft are available. Some customers of First Ally Savings and Loans Company have petitioned the Ministry of Finance to help retrieve their locked up investments. According to the cu customers, they have been trying to retrieve their deposits for over a year now. Their concerns come as the Bank of Ghana gets ready to clean up the savings and loans sector. This Asante is one of the affected customers. First Allied have about four, um, 400,000 customers in general. And, and, and several branches across the country, across the I guess. Country, yes. All right. So what's your story? Um, my story, I have been, I've, I've been denied with a lot of um, opportunities because I don't have any money to, 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 to I mean, go about those opportunities. And a lot of people have um, lost their lives some have been having a um, breakup in their marriages and a mm. lot of stuff, yes. So that's why we are here. Okay, and, and so you in particular, how much uh, money did you invest in the company? Are you able to tell us? Oh, Maybe I not think that one be But how many thousands of uh, CDs? Um, a lot of thousands, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. and so what, what is the company telling you really? Well, the main purpose that we came here is because um, we came here because the company, we think the company is not telling us, I mean, the writing or the truth. Because for over 15 months, it's been here and there, mm. tossing us, we will do this, we are having investors. And over 15 months, none of the customers have been able to withdraw just the pressure from the bank. In other news this morning, the sharp depreciation of the Chinese yuan, the lowest in 11 years, has got many concerned about the implications for international trade. The devaluation of the Chinese currency comes amid a trade war with the U.S. However, economist Dr. Lord Mensah says this development could be a boost for the Ghanaian economy. He explains how. It relies on China for import, but most of the importations are international transactions and they are dollar denominated. So China can do, like, devalue its currency, the impact will be, will be coming through the dollar. So it depends on how we export to get more dollars into our economy. If you look at the channel very well, devaluation of their currency is to our advantage. That is, you can have more dollars to buy more. But like I said, we run the economy, the relationship through the dollar environment. And uh, if the dollar relation to our CD is still strong, we cannot take advantage of that. If we have our, our CD appreciated against the dollar, then in that case, we are likely to have the influx. But if the dollar as a middle currency that is channeling, that is linking the city to the, um, the, the yuan is still strong, I don't think we'll have that influx. And that's it for business. The news continues after this break.